Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you guys like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and stick around. Also, if you need help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. I also have some self-study courses about manifesting your specific person. So if you're interested in any of these services, the links are below in the description box. Click on them and they're going to take you to my website. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. In today's video, I want to explain to you guys the importance of having your mind and your body aligned cut here, when you're manifesting your desires, whatever these desires might be, and actually give you some ways in which to achieve this alignment. Having your body and your mind aligned actually allows for faster, more effortless, more natural manifestation. And so I want to help you guys achieve that and get to that level because truly it's just a matter of practice. It's just a matter of learning the skill. And so this is what I'll be discussing in today's video. Stay tuned. So I've talked before in other videos about how it's important and how it's ideal when you're manifesting your desires, whatever these might be, to have both your mind and your body aligned, in other words, agreeing to being in the state of having your desire. And the reason I'm saying this is so important is because I see it with a lot of people who are suffering while trying to work on their mindset alone, all the while their body might be reacting they might be feeling awful, they might feel anxious, their nervous system might be dysregulated, may not be feeling calm, they might be feeling triggered a lot, and so on. And I'm not saying that feeling this way is necessarily going to sabotage your manifestation. At the end of the day, nothing destroys your manifestation. However, by just trying to work on your beliefs, on your assumptions, on your expectations, on changing your state, by just working on your mindset and just focusing on your mind through, let's say, affirmations or inner conversations or whatever you're doing, but while at the same time neglecting how your body feels, you're essentially engaging in an uphill struggle where you're trying to master your mind, but at the same time, your body is not regulated. Your nervous system is not regulating. It might be rebelling. It might be triggered. You're not feeling calm. You're feeling anxious. You're feeling depressed. You're feeling sad. You're feeling desperate and so on. And so the reason I'm saying that the connection and the agreement between the two, mind and body is important, is because this allows for natural, easy, effortless manifesting. And at the end of the day, it allows you to feel much better. And let's face it, the reason why you want your desires is for you to feel better, for your life to feel better, for you to feel good. So if you're able to achieve a baseline state of feeling good in the first place, then you're essentially automatically into the wishful field. You're worrying much less, you're suffering much less, you're torturing yourself much less. You're having much less resistance, you feel calmer, you feel fine, you feel content, you feel more fulfilled, and so on. And so this is why on this channel, I promote the connection and the agreement between mind and body when manifesting, because ultimately this elevates you to higher levels of consciousness and it makes your manifesting so, so, so much easier. So what do you do then to achieve that connection and to achieve that agreement when let's say you're having an off day and your mind is going a hundred different directions and you're having all these opposing thoughts and your body and your nervous system is just feeling completely off. You may be feeling anxious or depressed or spiraling or desperate or needy or obsessed with your desire. So you want to start regulating your nervous system. How do you do that? Here are some suggestions. One very simple thing that you can do, which works for the majority of people, is do some breath work. That means taking some time for yourself, sitting in the silence and taking deep breaths in and out, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth, and doing that for a few minutes continuously until you actually start feeling more regulated within yourself, until you feel that your anxiety, for example, starts to subside until you calm down, until you feel that all those catastrophic scenarios that your mind is playing out are actually not really threatening you. Because you will see, that's the other interesting part, that once you start regulating your nervous system, your mind also automatically starts to calm down and your mind automatically stops having all these catastrophic, disastrous, negative thoughts. So do that whenever you need to. You can do it multiple times in a day if you need to and start getting into the habit of 
calming down your nervous system, regulating your nervous system, self-regulating. Another thing you can do, which also works wonders for a lot of people, is doing some meditation. And of course, there are multiple ways in which you can do a meditation. You can find guided meditations on YouTube, or you can just play some meditative music and just try to relax to it. Or you can just sit in the silence and observing your breathing. All of these ways to meditate can actually help you regulate your nervous system and regulate it really, really well. Another thing you may want to choose to do is actually giving yourself some love in those moments of feeling triggered, in those moments of feeling scared, desperate, obsessed, needy. All these are indications that your body, your nervous system is needing some love in those moments. So one other thing you could do would be to actually hug yourself and start soothing yourself with whatever words you feel could soothe you best in those moments. Do that for a few minutes or for however long you need to until you start feeling calmer, until you start feeling more relaxed, more reassured, and you're ready to move on with your day. You can also start writing things down. That also helps a lot of people. And you can do it either in the form of journaling, if it works for you, or you can write down your negative thoughts, cross them off, and actually write down the alternative. And once again, what this accomplishes is that you start feeling more clear in your mind. Your thoughts stop feeling so overwhelming and your body starts to relax. And a final thing that you could do, a final thing that you could try would be to go and do something else entirely. Basically take your mind off of the trigger or of whatever is bothering you or whatever is upsetting you in that moment and just go do something else, ideally something you like and something that you enjoy doing. And you'll see that after you take that little break for one hour, two hours, or for however long, when you revisit whatever it is that's in your mind, you are going to feel much, much calmer and much more relaxed about it and much less worried and it's not going to feel like the end of the world anymore. So you see that with all these methods, you're calming both your body and your mind. You're helping your body and your nervous system to calm down you're learning to self-regulate and automatically by doing that, your mind also calms down because your body and your mind, you guys are not separate. So it's really, really worth paying attention to both and not just trying to work with your mind by neglecting your body and your nervous system. That is a very, very important part of your manifesting. So I hope this helps you. I hope this gives you some ideas on things to try when you're feeling very triggered, especially when you feel like you're trying to overcome the old story in your mind, but then your body is completely rebelling and your nervous system is completely dysregulated. Try one or more of these and you will see the difference in both your body and in your mind and your overall mood, how you overall feel. With all that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I intend that this has helped. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being on this channel, watching this content. I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.